Today, guys, we are looking at the Linear Fusion Rifle Armless. It just dropped yesterday. We reviewed it, but we didn't really talk about builds. I had a number of people asking in the comment section of the video, how would this Linear Fusion Rifle pair with something like the Exotic Chromatic Fire? Didn't think much about it. Really wasn't planning on testing it. Until we saw a cool guy this morning post a clip of him getting a triple down with Chromatic Fire and Arbalist. Guys, it's nasty. And by the way, if you haven't checked out Cool Guy, his YouTube link is in the description below. I highly advise checking him out. He does some wonderful builds and reviews, and this build would have never been possible had I not seen the clip posted by him on Twitter. Now, with that being said, let's jump into this build. Now, we are naming this build Chromatic Arbalist. Not really creative on the name there, guys. I'm sorry, I let you down. We like to keep the names around here as legendary as possible. Unfortunately, I couldn't think of anything else, so we're just pretty much stating the obvious. But essentially, guys, on Chromatic Fire, which is the exotic chess piece found on the Warlock class, it comes with the perk Crystalline Transistor. Precision kills with your kinetic weapon create an explosion in the element of your equipped subclass. Now, for the most part, I didn't think much about this build because I've only really used Chromatic Fire with primary weapons. And so I didn't really know the damage was going to scale with this linear fusion. But lo and behold, it does. You see, guys, when you land a precision kill with Arbalus, there's like a five to seven meter range in which anything within that radius will be hit with an elemental explosion of 200 or more damage, which is plenty enough to kill Guardians, even max resilience ones. Despite what you may believe, this is absolutely disgusting. I was in a 1v4 situation earlier inside of Com with Demetrius' character. And Demetrius got a pretty good account. He's like plus 2,500 in comp. And I had some players rushing me. But with beautiful grace, this build allowed me to decapitate this one fella and immediately kill his friend right next to him. Thus resulting in us actually being able to clutch up and win this round. So we do a lot of builds that are fun builds. And don't get me wrong, this is a fun build. But there is a practical side of this. Objective game times, things like control, or when enemies are grouped up together and pushing you, Chromatic Arbalist is probably the best build when dealing with groups of enemies, just simply because it takes them by such surprise. So yes, guys, Chromatic Arbalist, it's definitely a build for my Warlocks out there. Now, which subclass should you use this with? I don't think it really matters. Neither one of these are activating their perks. So for instance, like Top Tree Void Walker, I don't necessarily see Bloom activating. There's not an extra explosion with Chromatic Fire. This is something we looked at months ago. But even something like Middle Tree Void Walker, Dark Matter is not being activated. And if you look at the nomenclature, when reading the subclass descriptions, Bungie specifically states that it's ability kills that actually activates those perks. So kind of a letdown that we can't actually activate this with Chromatic Arbalist. But nonetheless, it's still a nasty build. Now, is this worth using in something like PvE? I took it up in Gambit, and yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it adds a little extra AoE damage. But there is so many good exotic armor pieces for Warlocks. So I'm not saying that you shouldn't use Chromatic Fire, but in something like PvE, if I was going to go out and main Chromatic Fire, I would use a primary weapon in my kinetic slot. Specifically like a hand cannon or something. Something that I'm constantly activating that AoE damage. Whereas something like Arbalist, you're really not going to be activating it that much. As you're mainly going to be using it to take down those heavy targets with shields. So to me guys, Chromatic Arbalist is a build more gauged to PvP. And even though this weapon is more of a PvE weapon in terms of its perks and traits. I think it's absolutely nasty inside of Crucible. Despite it having a 2.4 rating on Destiny Item Manager. Which I think is pretty harsh. I think it's a much better linear fusion rifle than what people are making out. Well, fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.